Hello and thanks for tuning in to another Braille Note Touch Snapshot video. My name is Greg Stilson. I'm HumanWorks Product Manager of Blindness Products. In this quick video we're going to focus on how to send an email attachment through Keymail. So Keymail, as you know, has been the email client that's been on the Braille Note for over 16 years. And uh, we're happy to say that in the Braille Note Touch the Keymail client also has been rewritten from the ground up. Keymail is got the, has the, the, the capability to connect to many many different types of email services. So whether you're using Gmail or you're using Exchange or you're using uh, IMAP, any type of email account that you want to connect it to the Braille Note Touches email client, Keymail can can pretty much do that. So what I'm going to do is from the main menu, I'm going to jump to the top with space and one two three. Top contacts. And I'm going to press E for email, just like we always have. Email, keymail. I'm press enter. Keymail, new message. And I'm at the keymail menu, which is new message, and I'm going to hit my next thumb key to jump through the items. Read. So I can read my messages. Add account. I can add another account if I wanted to. Settings. Settings. Current account, exchange. And current account, which is exchange. Now, if I hit that with my router key. Gmail. You see that my two options are Gmail, which is my Gmail account, Exchange. or my Exchange. So right now I'm going to hit my back Gmail menu. button, which is on the front of the device, my little left-facing triangle button. I could also have done space with E, and it would have done the same thing. But right now we're using my Exchange account, so we're back at Keymail menu, bottom. and I'm going to new message. hit my next thumb key to New Message, or I could have pressed N, and I'm going to activate that. So I'm going to press my router key. Keymail. Computer Braille is required. So, on the Braille display, you may have, or what you may have heard was a little rising tone. And on the Braille display, what I see is two, and I see a little set of brackets with a cursor in the middle. Now, you heard it say Computer Braille is required. So, when typing email addresses and things like that and passwords, we do require the user to, at this point, use Computer Braille. So, what we're going to do is just type in uh, the email address that we're going to send this to, and you heard the rising tone, and you see the cursor on the Braille display. What that means is that we're in edit mode. Remember, because the Braille Note Touch has the ability to use first letter navigation anywhere, we need to tell the device when we want to be in edit mode. And now, in most Keysoft applications, the device is smart enough to know when we we're, when we're going to be in edit mode. So when I press for example, enter on new message, the first thing you always type in when you're in a new message is the uh, the to your, your recipient of your email. In this case, so it automatically put me in edit mode. So I could hit the space with E or the back button to leave edit mode, and I'll do that now. I'll hit E for space with E. You heard the lowering tone, and now what happened is my little brackets, my box, uh, went together and now I have no cursor there telling me that I cannot edit. And the way you can tell this is if I press C, for example, I should jump to the compose email uh, section. So I'm going to hit C. Compose email edit box. And you see that it Let's jumps directly email. to the uh, to the, the first item that starts with the letter C. So if I hit T, for example, to edit box. You jump back to the to edit box. To activate that or to activate edit mode, I can either press the router key above the edit box or I can press the enter key. It's very similar to like uh, some screen readers have things like forms mode or focus mode. It basically means that when you want to type, you need to tell the system that you're ready to type by pressing enter or a router key in this case on the two. So I'm going to press the router key. To edit and box. you heard the rising computer. tone, and you hear it say computer braille is required. So I'm going to type in abc at h-u-m-a-n-w-a-r-e dot com. And I type that in computer braille. I typed it on the glass of the touch screen just as fast as I always would have uh, been able to do on a physical keyboard. Now if I press enter, subject edit box. You heard the rising tone again. Now, as I said, some of the, the Braille Note Touch apps are smart enough to know that when you press enter, you're just moving to the next item that you want to fill out. So it keeps you in edit mode. You heard that rising tone telling you that it's back in edit mode again. And I see the cursor in the subject edit, edit box here. So I'm going to type in test, test. Attachment, attachment email and press email. enter. Compose email edit box. And New you line. see that I have a uh, humanware uh, signature here. It says Greg Stilson, product manager, uh, blindness products sent from 
my Braille Note Touch, the world's first Google certified Braille tablet. So I have this signature that's available on all of my emails uh, that I send out from my Exchange account here. So I'm just going to type in that this is this a is test a email. Test. See deleted. Email. With an, with an attachment. Attachment. Okay, so now. And I'll sign it Greg, even though I have my Greg. signature there. Now, you may be wondering, how do I actually attach an uh, attachment to this? So with Keymail, if you may have seen in a previous uh, video that we did, we created a document that was called uh, Video, I think it was called Video Test Document or Video Document. And to attach that file, that's a DOCX file that we created in Keyword. I think we did some alignments and things like that. At this point, I can go into the contextual menu, which is available in every single one of uh, our Keysoft applications and even some third party apps, uh, which allow you to see all the functions that you can do in the application. So in this case, I'm going to press space with M. Context menu. Context menu. Send message. Backstage and you with see F. the options that are available. What's nice about the context menu is it also tells you the shortcut of how to do it. So in this case, you see send message backspace with S. Add CC slash BCC. If I wanted to add a CC sender or something like that, I could do that here. You see there's no shortcut because what we did is we only put shortcuts for the uh, functions that we see people doing all the time. I'm going to hit next again. Save as draft. Space with S. So you can save that. Attach file. There's an attach file. So I'm going to, I could have also just pressed A and jump to the attach file. I'm going to activate that with my cursor key router files. key. And now I'm in key files, which is Humanware's file browser that we're using here. And I'm going to just hit V to go straight to the videos option. Video document. Video Docs. document. That's the, and you see it's a .docx file. And at this point, I'm going to press enter. Keymail. And Keymail Composed has email now Docs. attached the video document uh, to this, this email. At this stage, I can press backspace with S. And Keymail. it will... Keymail go ahead and send the message. So it's that simple to send an email with an attachment. Um, you just you saw that by default it went to the last folder that it was located. If it didn't go to the last folder, I, I could have easily pressed um, space with D, which is the command to go to the drive selection if I had a file on my SD card or thumb drive or something like that. So I hope this helps uh, get you started with sending and uh, attaching files to emails, and uh, we look forward to speaking with you soon on a future Braille Note Touch snapshot video. Thanks a lot.